you're kissing my neck and grabbing my leg, pushing me backwards into your bed. Um, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we are going to be creating this look This is sort of like an updated makeup foundation routine This is perfect for anyone who wants to be creating multiple content in one single day I'm gonna be showing you guys how to achieve this very flawless camera ready makeup and hair look So if you are interested be sure to keep on watching don't go anywhere and let's get right into this video Okay so we're gonna get started with this glam. It's been a while since I last did like a sit down, get ready with me, but we're gonna be doing that today. First thing I want to do is to cleanse my face. Now I'm going to hydrate my face because I want to go for that very plum, um, very nat, not really natural, but like skin like feel, but still very um, camera friendly at the same time. So I'm just going to go ahead to cleanse my face using this rose water. All right, so next up, I'm going to go in with a serum. So next up, I'm going to just moisturize my face. Like I said, um, I do want a lot of moisture and I love how my face is looking right now. It feels really soft. I don't know if you guys can see it. So this is what I typically do whenever I have a long filming day and it lasts for me. It's very everyday friendly. It's very camera friendly. I'm just going to add another um, hydrating cream to my face just because, like I said, I want my face to be soaked in hydration. I'm just going to be using about two to three drops of skin oil and just use that to just lock in all of that hydration. But now we're back, I'm back and I'm loving it. So next up, I'm going to just proceed to using my hydrating primer. This one is from Nuban Beauty. Um, again, I do want my face to be hydrated. I do have a dry skin. So if you have an oily skin, you can substitute this and use something to control your oils. But I definitely don't mind a little bit of, you know, that dewy, greasy look because I can always matte it down with a setting powder. Oh. So something that I'm going to be doing, this is totally optional. Um, I'm just going to be using this. This is a sweat block. I'm literally going to be using maybe one to two drops and I'm just going to dab that just like this amount. I don't know if you guys can see that amount. I'm going to just dab that just right here. I get really greasy here. So I'm just going to literally just dab that right there. I'm using little to no products. Again, because I do want this to be quite dewy and healthy. I don't want it, I don't want to look kicked up. Okay, so I'm definitely not going to forget about my lips. What I'm what I want to do right now is to just kind of scrub it a little bit because I really do have dry lips. And I'm just going to wipe off the excess. I'm gonna use a lip balm and also gloss up my lips. Okay, so I'm going to start off first with my foundation, but I think I want to work in my contour first, just because I don't want to have like harsh contours and I don't want to use a lot of product. So I'm going to go in with my contour. Let me just grab my brush over here. I'm going to use my foundation brush. I'm going to just take that. This is my contour um, shade. It's not too dark. It's not too harsh. It's just like a perfect bronzy but still snatches me up all right so for my foundation i'm going to be using this is black opal in truly topaz now i definitely love working with cream products if you don't like cream product um you can definitely skip this step and use something else but I find that they are easy to work with. So I'm just going to use this shade to just, I'm going to focus this shade on the center of my face. This shade is, a, it's like a shade lighter than me, exactly a shade lighter than me. 
Okay, so now that I've shaped my face, this should give me all the dimension that I'm going to need. So all I'm going to do is just slightly blend everything in. So I'm gonna go in with a cream highlighter before I set everything down. I'm just gonna go in with a cream highlighter and just put that on the high point of my cheeks. So I'm gonna be using this YSL lipstick in the shade 02. This is the slim um, line. I'm just going to um, put that on the back of my palm, on the back of my hand and kind of warm it up. I like this color, it's like an orangey, reddish tone. So I'm just going to use this, this is what it looks like. Just dab a little bit, this is a little, this is quite pigmented. I'm just going to also apply that and marry in all the, you know, blush, the highlight, just marry everything together. I know I look crazy, but bear with me. When I'm done blending the foundation in, it's going to look so flawless. Okay, so next up, I'm just going to use one pump of my foundation. This is the Maybelline Fits Me in the shade Warm Coconut 356, and use that to just, I'm gonna use that all over my face. Feel free to also blend it down so that way everything marries together. Okay, so next up, I'm going to lastly highlight my face. Uh, I'm gonna be using a shade or two shades lighter just to further highlight my under eyes, just so I can get like that really snatched glam look. Okay, so I'm literally just, okay, so I'm gonna have to use a shade that is two shades lighter, two shades lighter, and I'm just going to use this brush to just share it out. I'm just gonna start blending in the Highlight. What I'm doing now is I'm literally just pressing in the product because I already went ahead to share it out. So now I'm just pressing it in. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead to just set my, all the highlighted areas. So I'm going to go in with my setting powder. I'm just going to use that to set my entire face. Okay, so I'm gonna work on my brows. For my brows, I don't think I want anything too serious. I want it to still look like natural, but feathered and light. I don't want to have a lot of products on my brows. I'm gonna be using this. This is the Binoir pencil.
Okay, so now that I'm done with my brows, I went ahead to do my brows off camera. I'm loving how they're looking. They are not too harsh, but they have like this very soft brown look to it. I'm trying as much as possible to kind of brush it out so it looks feathered and I don't see any harsh line. Fix. So what I'm going to do now is to take my face powder just because my leaves are a little bit lighter than the rest of my face and use that to start transitioning. So that way it marries with the rest of my face. So I'm going to just use this brown shade to just line my lash line because I think I want to go for like a, like a smoky winged eyeliner look if that makes sense but i don't want to use eyeliner i want it to like smudge out and for it to like soften out i wish i had my mm, okay i wish i had my 50 mm lens so i could zoom in closer i think i need to buy another one i need to invest in another lens it's just been a while since i last did a makeup video <laughs> To be honest with you, so I'm going to bring that pencil in as well and then line my waterline. You can definitely skip lining your waterline and maybe use it for like a third shoot but i'm just going to do because i like the look it gives my eyes i really do like the look it gives my eyes i'm gonna just line that okay so because i used a pencil it's going to be very easy for me to kind of blend it out and mix it up with any color or any shade that I want. I'm just going to blend this a little bit. I don't want to see any lines. I just want it to just have a smooth blend because I'm going to be working another brown shade in. I'm just going to take this brown shade right here mix it up a little bit just to tone it down and use it to blend out that black pencil in case you feel like you might be getting the you know black and browns all over the place you can take your setting powder and just place that oopsie underneath that Okay, so I went ahead to just deepen my crease by adding more brown tones to the crease right here and as well as connecting it to the kind of winged outline that we did with the pencil and the eyeshadow and this is what we have now. I also went ahead to apply like an orange toned um, blush, just a little bit, just to kind of also balance out my face and I'm loving how it is looking right now. So lastly, actually not lastly, but for my face, the last thing I'm going to be doing aside from setting it down is to use um, a little bit of highlighter because I don't want this to be too much. The high points of my cheeks, 
But while I'm doing it, I'm kind of applying it like in a slanting, but like a curving motion, if that makes sense. Like I'm applying it, but I'm also like blending it upwards so that way you just don't have like a straight line like that, if that makes sense. Amazing. So now I'm loving what we're looking like. I feel like once I set this down with my setting mist, it's going to be so beautiful and like give it like a couple of minutes the makeup your makeup usually looks better after like 30 minutes of applying because then it will sink into and melt into your skin so right now i'm just going to just let this sink into and melt into my skin when i'm done with my hair i'm going to come back set my face and then fix my lips So I'm just going to go ahead to just apply another coat of mascara just because I want my lower lash to be popping a little bit more. I want you guys to see it on camera. Like so. Okay. So for my lips, I'm just going to be doing the most basic when it comes to lips just because um, with creating content, I typically don't like using color lips um i like to start off first with like a nude um color and then transition into like maybe a deep brown or a red or like a deep purple i'm just going to line my lips with this is the black or part lip liner in the shade i think this is in french toast Okay, so because we went ahead to, you know, use a lip balm as well as a lip gloss at the beginning of this video, my lips are still very like luscious and like plum and just look so beautiful. So I'm going to go ahead with a, um, I want to go ahead with the lipstick. This is like a nudish shade. I'm also going to go over it with a gloss, guys. There's nothing, this just completes the look i love like a glossy sultry <laughs> lip so i'm just going to do that right here this is perfect i don't want it to be too glossy that it starts getting all over the place and you know really messy but this works for me um this is basically almost a finished look i'm just going to set my face and then kind of do like my outro because basically we're done <laughs> we are literally done Okay, love, so this is the finished look. This is the complete look. This is the look that we've just created and I'm absolutely loving it. This is the makeup and hair tutorial. And yeah, I'm basically ready to start filming my content for the day. I have about two to three videos to film. It is currently two o'clock, so I need to kind of hurry up with that. But definitely, I feel like with this, I can easily transition to like a red lipstick I'm still good. The transition's like a pink lipstick. I'm still good. I can change my hair because I already went ahead to style it. I can do like a side part and zhuzh it up a bit just so I can get like a different style, change up my outfit, and basically I'm good for the entire day. So this is how I basically maximize my content days whenever I'm filming and I want to look good but still have a little bit of versatility with it. So yeah, this is the finished look. Thanks for joining in and I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to give me a thumbs up. Also comment down below and also feel free to subscribe if you are yet to subscribe. Join the family, it is totally free and I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. Till then, make sure you stay fabulous 
and stay blessed but also make sure you also check out my other videos over here they are absolutely amazing subscribe if you are yet to subscribe and i can't wait to see you in the next one all right so let's go